Catalan news in 100 seconds. Catalan President Kim Torre will travel to the U.S. this weekend to give talks at the Martin Luther King Institute, Stanford University and visit Silicon Valley. This few months after the Institute had claimed his remarks over Catalonia had been distorted by Spain's press. The Spanish government presented its budget for 2019, but it needs the pro independence forces' support to pass it. The cabinet is confident to get it. Los presupuestos contienen partidas muy importantes para Cataluña, por tanto necesarias para esta comunidad y espero que eso sea un elemento suficientemente atractivo. But so far, pro independence parties aren't backing it. They want Madrid to make moves towards self determination and against, quote, repression. Si ell vol fer gestos, si el seu govern vol fer gestos, moviments, vol deixar clar que rebutja la línia política de la repressió iniciada pel Partit Popular, serà un pas endavant que facilitarà molt les coses. The Catalan Greens MEP Ernest Urtasun will take part in the international vote to run again in the European election. So will MEP Javi López for the Socialists. His party head in Brussels today criticized the leader of the European Liberals for praising the agreement to form a government in Andalusia supported by the far right. The annual blood donation marathon kicked off today hoping for 10,000 donations in a week. One of the sites to participate is the modernist Casa de las Punchas in Barcelona. The nominees for the 11th Gaudí Prizes, the so-called Catalan Oscars, gathered today for group picture in a restaurant of the world-class chef Carme Ruscalleda. This ahead of the gala to be held on January 27th. So thanks for watching and enjoy the weekend.